Hello, and you're watching the Live Today Show right here on Can TV Channel 21. I'm Dr. Sheree, your host for the show and the founder of the Live Today Foundation, where our mission is to provide inspiration, joy, and free compression garments to under-resourced cancer patients and survivors living with lymphedema. Now, our followers know that we also provide education and resources on a variety of topics designed to help you live today and every day. And during the final quarter of 2023, let me tell you, the Live Today Foundation was presented with an opportunity that was an absolute game changer for us. So what we wanted to do was to uh, share with you a year in review of 2023 that the Live Today Foundation has been a, a part of. Um, and then in the next show, we're going to share with you what's in store for us for 2024. And when we share with you what's been happening with us, especially during that last quarter of 2023, it will explain why we have been on a hiatus from the show, just simply because of the depth and breadth of of experiences that we have been afforded. But before I get ahead of myself, uh, let me make sure, let me share my screen with you so that I can share with you the things that the Live Today Foundation has been participating in. Now, um, let me first say that Part of the Live Today Foundation's ongoing campaign is the Lymphedema Can't Ruin My Survivorship campaign. That's first and foremost. But for those of you that may not be familiar with the Live Today Foundation and what we do and what we offer, uh, let me share with you, uh, one, you can go out to our website at www.live-today.org find out all about us. We have tons of resources out there, videos of past shows, videos from partners. We have videos with wellness instruction, dietary, yoga, tons of stuff. Um, even information out there about breast reconstruction and your, um, your rights as a breast cancer survivor, um, as a previvor. Um, so get out there, take a look. Um, if you want to shoot us a question, you may want to um, find out more about our programming. You can certainly send us an email at info at live-today.org. And you can most certainly give us a call at 754-220-0234. Now, I want to, to also share um, with you um, if you're out on social media, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram uh, at livetoday.org. That's livetoday, D-O-T-O-R-G. And if you're out on YouTube, you want to find out and take a look at some of our past videos, videos, again, that we have from our partners and other supportive organizations, please Search for us under the Live Today Foundation um, and find us on our YouTube channel. Be sure to sub subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, the next thing I want to share with you um, is this video. This is a video um, that reminds you of why we do what we do. And that is our lymphedema can't ruin my survivorship campaign. Um, this campaign led us to partner with a number of organizations in 2023 to help us spread the word about lymphedema, its importance in a cancer diagnosis, and how chronic disabling lymphedema can be prevented. So let me start by sharing this video first. Take a look. Lymphedema can't ruin my survivorship if I detect it early. Lymphedema can't stop me from caring for my family if I detect it early. Lymphedema can't take away my freedom of movement if I detect it early. You can take control of your survivorship with simple early lymphedema detection 
My apologies. Lymphedema can't ruin my survivorship if I detect it early. Lymphedema can't stop me from caring for my family if I detect it early. Lymphedema can't take away my freedom of movement if I detect it early. You can take control of your survivorship with simple early lymphedema detection before it becomes chronic. Hi, I'm Dr. Cherie Prentice, physician, breast cancer survivor, and lymphedema patient. Secondary lymphedema of the arms and legs is a risk after treatment for certain cancers, such as breast cancer, melanoma, and pelvic area cancers. A simple 30-second test can make a difference. Sozo is used to measure your LDEC score and can help your healthcare team identify early lymphedema and treat it before it becomes a lifelong condition. Learn more, find a provider, and talk to your doctor about getting tested by visiting impedimed.com, get tested. Lymphedema can't sidetrack my life if I detect it early. Take control of your survivorship and get tested. We were very, very, very fortunate um, to be able to participate with a number of organizations um, that stood with us uh, to help us spread this campaign and the message behind this campaign, the, the Lymphedema Can't Ruin My Survivorship campaign. And so um, one of the first of which was in March, I appeared on The Doctor Is In that is presented by Black Doctors, Dot org, where the lovely Dr. Monique Gary, a breast surgical oncologist, and Ricky Fairley, the CEO of Touch, the Black Breast Cancer Alliance, were the hosts. And man, we got into the nitty gritty of lymphedema. Let's talk about it. And what a phenomenal time we had. We then went on um, to uh, partner with Sisters Working It Out, and the Chicago Cancer Institute. And we had our own event held at the Timothy Community Corporation, where I and Dr. Mita Gold, uh, she's a professor at the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University. Um, we educated an auditorium of women and men on breast cancer risk, diagnoses, and possible side effects, including lymphedema. Additionally, we provided diabetic checks, COVID vaccines, HIV testing boosters and education, box food giveaways, Thrive Cosmetics giveaways, hot food lunch, and so much more. There were a host of sponsors and vendors that day. The event was absolutely phenomenal. And then you know what? The year was just getting started because then um, we went on and collaborated with the Patient Advocate Foundation and with the generosity of Gilead, we held the inaugural launch of Ignite, a movement against triple negative breast cancer. Now, this was a two-day program that began with an intimate conversation on triple negative breast cancer, activating female influencers to ignite conversations about TNBC, followed by a full day of programming uh, that was entitled TNBC, it's a black thing we need to understand. Our speakers included myself, Ricky Fairley, Dr. Olapati of the University of Chicago, and Shanta Chambers, the CEO of the Patient Advocate Foundation. 
lives were truly changed in a major way during those two days. Now, for those of you, again, you want to find out more information about the Live Today Foundation. Remember, I need you to go out to www.live-today.org and find out more information about us. Now, we then showed up when I was the keynote speaker for Angels Surviving Cancer's ninth annual fundraiser prayer breakfast um, that was held in Houston, Texas with the beautiful Janice Workuff is the executive director. Hundreds were in attendance and their fundraiser was a resounding success. Um, but by this time, it was only June, and we have spread the word about the lymphedema can't ruin my survivorship message at that point to thousands. But then, as I stated, only half the year was up. And so now in August, the Live Today Foundation partnered up with Sister Love for their She Wears a Crown event that was held at the Botanical Gardens in Atlanta, Georgia, where the focus was on celebrating and empowering triple negative breast cancer survivors. I'm telling you, it was an amazing time. Oh my God, everybody there was so beautiful, so warm, so engaging, because there's something about celebrating survivors and thrivers and caregivers in a way that is productive productive and celebratory. But then we went on and our next stop was with Bracca Strong, where I was a guest speaker at their second annual A Night Around the World Gala, where more than 300 people came together to celebrate pre-vivors, survivors, and metavivors alike. But here is where the game changer occurred. Okay. So the Live Today Foundation was asked to partner with Rod and Staff Global Ministries to take my expertise, experience as a physician and a patient, and the work of the foundation global. And we accepted the invitation and was immediately asked to join the ministry in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Africa, where we ministered, performed medical screening services, which included breast and cervical cancer screening for nearly 500 people with follow-up appointments scheduled with resident physicians and medical centers. And we provided assistance with giving scholarships for college bound students. I want you to take a look at the press conference that was held uh, on the day of our arrival. Oh, you know what? Let me back up. I went too fast. This is not the press conference. This is day one of here is the press conference. Take a look at this. We're looking just for God to make a mighty move in this place for the people of God. We also have my, my baby sister here, Dr. Cherie, uh, is going to be conducting uh, with the medical t uh, staff here. Uh, we'll be doing health screenings. Uh, then uh, Pastor Apostle uh, Cassandra uh, Scott is going to be doing a prayer clinic on Saturday. And I'm telling you, we're looking to have a tremendous outpouring of God's spirit that this city, Dar es Salaam, would not Tanzania will never be the same because the Bible says that in the day of God's power, 
the people will be willing. And so that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. So we're looking for an outpouring like never before. Amen. And we are just so excited to be here. God bless you. I love Tanzania. I'm Dr. Cherie Prentice. I am the director of the medical division for Rod and Staff Ministries. We are so excited. This is my second time back on the continent of Africa. The first time was in Ethiopia 11 years ago. But I'm back today with a dynamic crew where we're gonna have medical screening. I mean, oh my God, the staff that has come together for the medical screening for the people of this community is absolutely phenomenal and it is free to you. So spread the word. And in addition to providing medical screening, we're gonna have some conversation about how to deal with certain things with your health, your mental health, your spiritual health, and your physical health. And I'm so grateful that I think one of these nights that I'll have the opportunity to bring the word of God as well. So we are super excited. Come on out. If you want to do better about your health, take care of these bodies that God has entrusted you with. Come on out. We're going to show you how to live better, be better, and do better. So when I say phenomenal, I mean, it was absolutely phenomenal. Now let me show you day one highlights with the medical screening. You are the ones that God Nye, is going to pour wale, His um, Spirit out. Roho yake kwenu. There are some things wrong in this world. Kuna vitu ulimungu. Ulimungu. There are some things wrong in this country. Kuna vitu nchi. There are things wrong in this city. Kuna vitu mji but I'm going to let you in on a secret. God placed you in this city. God placed you in this country. God placed you on this continent. Because he put in you the solution to the problem here. The problem is not who's in government. The problem is not who's in, in a paper positions of power the problem is you don't know that you're entitled to more We had a marvelous time. Oh my goodness. Now, for those of you that want to know more about the Live Today Foundation and how you can join in, 
Go out to www.live-today.org. Shoot us an email um, at info at live-today.org. Feel free to give us a call at 754-220-0234. And if you want to follow us on Show, social media. I'm getting so excited. My my tongue is getting all tied. And that doesn't work for me. I'm a professional speaker. But man, when we talk about this global work that the Live Today Foundation is a part of, I get excited and it is difficult for me to sit still because not only is the move of God's spirit spreading throughout the globe, but we are doing a mighty work when it comes to cancer support and wellness and thriving after a cancer diagnosis. So feel free to follow us on social media. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at livetoday.org. That's livetoday, D-O-T-O-R-G. And you can find us in all of our videos and other instructional videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Just search for the Live Today Foundation. Now, I'm telling you guys what we have done with the Live Today Foundation and the work, the global work that we have begun in Tanzania was only the beginning. I need for you to stay tuned for our next show when I will share with you what the Live Today Foundation has in store for 2024. Again, I'm Dr. Cherie. And remember, be present, take charge of your life, and live today and every day.